What's going on YouTube? My name's Jesse, you're watching Wastelander. Having a good first aid kit handy is always a good idea, regardless of what you're doing, whether it's just hanging out around the house, whether you're at the shooting range, hiking, camping, whatever. Now, this is the MyMedic First Aid Trauma Kit. Let's take a closer look and see what it's all about. All right, as I said in the intro, this is the MyMedic Trauma First Aid Kit, also called an, just an individual first aid kit, or IFAC for short. Now, as you see, it comes in this bright red packaging. I understand that they do come in other colors as well. I haven't uh, looked on the website to see. Flip it over to the back, you have Molly straps. You can, that way you can put this either on a belt, uh, plate carrier, tactical vest, or anything else that uh, would would take a similar receptacle, I suppose is what you would call that. All right, flip it over to the front, unhook that buckle, and then from here, this velcros off, and you can completely tear away the whole package, which is great for a rapid deployment. Now, this portion apparently has what is labeled as a rapid access tourniquet holder. I don't know what kind of tourniquet you're going to hold in there. Maybe a rat's tourniquet, which I believe there is one in here. However, I would prefer to have a full size tourniquet and it's the one that I have. I don't think I could fit in there. I haven't tried though. All right, we'll set that aside for now. Let's look in the main compartment. Again, got Velcro both sides. You've got two very easy to grab pull tabs on either side. Easy to grab does not equal easy to open though, just depending on what you got in it, I suppose. Or you can just grab on the top loop and just tear it open. And that reveals the contents. Oops. There we go. All right. Some sort of an advertisement from my medic. Set that to the side. All right, we have here standard Sharpie. We have NAR responder compressed gauze. Okay. And then behind the gauze in this pouch, we have trauma shears for cutting, I would presume, gauze or other bandages. In here, we also have a space blanket. Now, when dealing with a trauma victim, it's always good to have some sort of a heat retention device. A blanket, like a space blanket or a full-size blanket, is ideal. And that's it for that container. All right, to the center, we have an emergency pressure bandage with easy to follow instructions printed on the back. Behind that, we have the rapid tourniquet, also known as a rat tourniquet. I've heard mixed reviews about this product. I've personally never used one. I need to take a training class to find out what is actually recommended. But I would presume that this would fit in that, uh, excuse, oops, that aforementioned pouch. Set that to the side. All right, that pouch is empty. Up here, we have our natural gloves. You don't want to get somebody else's bodily fluids on you. It's just standard safety. And then all the way to the left, we have super wash. This is wound wash and eye wash solution. Okay. Wash out those wounds. And then behind it, we have a CPR face. Nope, just a CPR shield. Now, I'm not entirely sure how these work. I need to take a CPR class. I just need to take some medical classes. To be honest, that's something that I'm woefully behind on is my first aid training. All right. And as I'm sure you've noticed, there was plenty of room that we could have added a lot more stuff to. What I'll probably end up doing 
is adding a full size tourniquet, probably some Israeli bandages and probably just some standard band-aids to it as well. Because let's be honest, you don't need a full size bandage for a little cut. You, you, you just don't. All right. Okay, now that I finally got this back together, which took a little bit longer than I feel like it ought to have, who is this for? Now, here's the deal. Medical gear and the know-how to use it is not a niche thing. At any given time, you could be faced with a situation where you would not only need medical gear, but you would also need to know how to use it. For example, you got a kid or yourself, you get cut on a steak knife cutting your food. You come across a car accident, for example. How many of those have we driven past that? Thankfully, uh, EMTs are already there. But what happens if you're the first responder? If you don't know how to help those individuals and you don't have the tools to help those individuals, that could be a bad day. Not only on your conscience, but somebody could potentially lose a family member. So having, again, having medical gear is not a niche thing. Everybody should have medical gear. Everybody should know how to use it. As I stated before, I don't know as much as I ought to on medical, but I do intend to fix that in the future. I understand that the Red Cross has uh, free courses. At least I believe they're free. I'd have to look into that again and uh, go from there. So honestly, get yourself some medical gear. Get yourself some medical training and make sure that you have it on you. Just because you've got a first aid kit at home in your medicine cabinet, it's not doing you any good if you're out on the road and you come across a, a tragedy that you could uh, do something about if you had the right gear. All right. <clears throat> That's going to cover it for today. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you later. Stay safe out there.